Even in our world of satellites and cell phones, giant airliners can disappear, at least for a while. The last was Air France Flight 447 in 2009. The Airbus 330 with 228 people aboard vanished beyond radar on a flight from Rio de Janeiro to Paris. People who go on this, the planes want to know what happened. It took search crews five days to find any debris and two years to locate the plane and its flight recorders on the ocean floor. Eventually, investigators determined mechanical failure and pilot error were to blame. Then there was Egypt Air Flight 990. It, too, went down mysteriously in 1999 on a flight from New York to Cairo, killing 217 people. Like the Malaysia airliner, Egypt Air 990 was less than an hour into its flight, cruising at altitude when it suddenly nosedived into the Atlantic with no distress call. Eventually, U.S. and Egyptian investigators came to two different conclusions. The NTSB said a co-pilot intentionally crashed the plane. The Egyptians cited mechanical failure. Even when there are witnesses to a plane crash, there can be mystery and controversy. And TWA 800 is proof of that. Upwards of 1,500 people say they saw some kind of fire trail in the sky July 17, 1996, leading to speculation it was a missile and terrorism that brought down the 747, killing 230 people. Former ABC correspondent Pierre Salinger fed the flames of conspiracy, incorrectly claiming it was a U.S. Navy ship that shot the plane down. It was painstaking work by investigators who concluded an explosion in the plane's center fuel tank was the real culprit. In some airline mysteries, it's not how the plane went down that grips the public, but how passengers survive. Such was the case of Flight 571. In 1972, the charter plane crashed in the Andes Mountains, so the 45 passengers on board only 16 would live to tell about it. The tragedy was made famous in the 1993 film Alive, depicting survivors eating the dead to stay alive the 72 days it took for rescue.